Hi there, salut le petit lapin. Today I am going to show you the quickest way to making puff pastry. A great compromise between the classic one and the inverted puff pastry. Indeed, a quick puff pastry only takes a few minutes to make and a couple of hours to rest. And the results? Wait for it. Let's get started. First, I'm gonna cube the cold butter. I'm gonna throw the butter into the mixing bowl and I'm gonna add flour, a tiny bit of sugar, and salt. Paddle attachment. And now, I'm going to mix this for 45 seconds. Next, I'm gonna add the cold water and mix on low speed until it comes together. It is very important that chunks of butter remain visible after mixing. They will indeed spread out during lamination. Lamination is the process of folding and rolling butter into dough over and over again to create super thin layers. Shape pastry into 8 by 5 inch, 20 by 13 centimeter slab and place in a refrigerator for an hour. Then roll out into something like the length of your rolling pan, 17 and a half inch, 44 centimeter. At the beginning, you want to flour your countertop and the dough quite generously and after a couple of rounds though, it won't stick that much anymore. As butter is sensitive to warm condition, room temperature is an important factor. Keep it below 72 degrees Fahrenheit, 22 Celsius. Now I am going to give the first single turn. Fold in thirds, just like an envelope. Roll out pastry to the same length we did earlier and repeat this step three more times. That's gonna be four single turn. We actually need five turns, though I think the pastry needs to relax a little bit in a refrigerator before going for the fifth and last fold. You know, even the quickest puff pastry method still requires some resting. Remember, relaxing or resting the dough reduces the elasticity of the dough, making it easier to roll out. By the way, let me tell you the story behind this uh, quick puff pastry episode. The other day, I was in need of puff pastry and I was in a rush. So I went to a few grocery stores, dig into the freezer section, and guess what? I could not find any frozen puff pastry sheets made up of butter, but shortening or palm oil, which is not my thing. So what's the plan B? Well, I remembered that I had this quick puff pastry recipe on file and I thought, well, this is the best opportunity to try that one out and I do not regret it. Quite frankly, this quick puff pastry matches the taste and the flakiness of the inverted puff pastry. Look at this incredible apple turnover and this amazing new king cake recipe. To get the full recipe, go to brunoalbouz.com. Don't forget to subscribe and sign up in order to get my free ebook. Have a beautiful day. See you next time.